Hello, young traveler. Is time important to you? No, but steps are. Oh. Steel HR Sport is my very first smartwatch. I looked into getting the Apple Watch Series 4, but that was a bit too pricey, and the fact that it has to be recharged every two days or so was just a complete write-off. It's not something that I want to worry about, and this thing is supposed to last for 25 days. It sounds like I'm an easy man to satisfy, but the journey with this hybrid is one I'm excited to share. Did you bring the stuff? I sure did. It's so compact. This brushed aluminum plate, floating half-high keycaps, MX Cherry low-profile switches, a Type-C connection, and comes in different sizes too. The Cooler Master SK series. Careful not to miss them. Links below. So this thing has traveled a bit with me, and I'm pretty happy that I bought one. It's linked in the description below if you are interested. Also, my very first watch had a massive white fiber on a black screen, so right there, invisible, I had to get that replaced via Amazon, while the second watch, the replacement one, was stuck at 100% of battery life for like a whole week, and after a firmware update, only then start to decline. So it wasn't like smooth sailing for withings for the two models, this is the replacement one, but uh, it's been been pretty solid since. So it connects to your smartphone via Bluetooth and catches the time from your smartphone, hassle-free time zone switching if you travel a lot, so that's pretty awesome. And the only physical interaction you have is the side button to see your time, your heart rate distance and battery life or select a particular workout. One of my main goals of getting a watch like this was to highlight any loopholes that I have in my physical activity given I spend so much time in front of the computer editing videos. And that is what the second smaller face at the bottom of the watch shows. That is my daily goal step counter. I set it to 10,000 and at a glance, I can see how inactive my day has been. Sometimes I go to sleep with like 2000 steps on the watch and that sucks, but it's also a good reminder and realization that I need to be more active. And the fact that that reminder is on the wrist and not somewhere in the app is a good thing. It's that further encouragement that I think many people would appreciate. You do get a star notification on the watch once the daily goal is hit and gamifying the whole overall activity is how you kind of get sucked into it. I also wanted something a bit more practical for everyday wear, like a low profile body that is 40 millimeters in size with an elegant face. And this watch meets that requirement pretty well. And it's especially a nice departure from the really bulky, almost ankle house arrest G-Shock watch that I used to wear and that broke as soon as it passed the two year warranty period. So kind of sucks on the G-Shock. As for the watch face, I love the font, but the red plus within the logo is slightly mismatched to the red tips on the hour and minute hands. The watch face does not illuminate in darkness, but you can always check time with the press of button so that the round screen, while small, is a brilliant design that makes this a fantastic hybrid. I like the overall design, but Eber finds it a little bit too bland, so let me know if you'd wear something like it. For $199, I feel the value is there for a beautiful watch with a really really long list of features. So first of all, the watch is waterproof up to 50 meters. You can shower with it, you can swim with it, but the top rubber layer on the silicone default straps has worn out in just three weeks. The replacement straps are easy to swap with good color options available. I got the leather one to match my iPhone case and the blue silicone one to match my another blue case, uh, but they are quite expensive, ranging from 25 to 50 bucks. The watch is a very accurate steps counter, and since I never take it off, all of my activity is being recorded versus like having my phone left somewhere else and those steps are not counted. So this way, everything is in the app. We have heart rate monitoring throughout the entire day and one second interval when the workout is enabled. And it's especially useful if you're trying to train to hit a particular heart rate intensity during your workout. The watch also tracks your sleep with a breakdown of light and deep sleep and even interruptions and in heart rate throughout the night. It does not detect sleep lower than three hours, so my naps are not recorded. Probably a good thing to eliminate any evidence of sleep during working hours. And let's say your day to night cycle is shifted or switched, it does not matter. As long as you sleep more than three hours, that sleep will be recorded. It can measure distance traveled when connected to your 
phone's GPS. It can send vibrations and visual alerts for all types of apps via that circular screen. I have mine enabled to vibrate for phone calls. So when my phone is on silent, I can still feel them coming through so I don't miss them. Uh, and all my credit card activity goes onto my watch, which is kind of cool whenever I make a purchase online or in store the amount shows up on the watch. It's not very comfortable to read fast moving text for let's say SMS notifications, but that's obviously an option and many, many others. My only complaint would be the vibration intensity as it's quite weak, so it's easy to miss if something is vibrating for a phone call, for example, if I'm in motion, but if I'm standing still, I can sense the little vibration. And the cool thing is you can set the watch to vibrate as an alarm clock, but uh, I'm a deep sleeper and it's never been able to wake me up. The screen auto brightness is very good but at harsh sunlight it's hard to see what's on the screen and for workouts you can set your five favorites that you can access on the watch and long press to activate that workout and during this time the screen is always on so you can see real-time heart rate calories and any other info based on that activity and the other part of this experience is the healthmate app which i would say is pretty fantastic for both android and ios you can see all your daily and weekly summaries and occasional achievements too based on the distance covered and I review my sleep performance every morning and it helps to kind of remind me if there's something going off wrong, uh, if I'm not getting enough deep sleep or my heart rate is too high uh, and so I can monitor that and be aware of something that's happening and potentially make changes. And also because the watch is quite small, I've never had any issues sleeping with it. It's pretty comfortable. As for battery life, their claim of 25 days is actually pretty correct. With my first watch, I had 24 days until 2%, while the second one, because of that whole hiccup with it being stuck at 100% for like 10 days, I'm 22 days in and I'm still at 29% of battery. So I'm not sure if it will die before it hits zero, but uh, so far it's going strong. And it recharges very quickly, by the way, with this magnetic base. My next steps with the watch is to resume my running activities and having it doesn't force me into anything, but it's like a subtle reminder to be more cautious about your physical activity and potentially in the long term, bring more balance. And some concluding issues I've had with the watch, only once I've had it when it did not record my sleep cycle, so half the night was just not present for some reason. Heart rate during my weightlifting session was not recorded once, while all others uh, was properly recorded, and sometimes the watch is not connected to the app or it can't find it, but a restart of the app uh, helps to resolve all those issues. And this is my first ever smartwatch, so I can't really comment on what it's missing based on the competition, but based on my experience with it, I would say it is a recommendation for me. And so that is my experience with the Steel HR Sport. It has not come off since uh, getting the first model, so that says something. And I would love to hear your thoughts on this whole activity tracker uh, and it being sort of built into this elegant chassis uh, that uh, lives on your wrist. I'm happy with mine, but let me know what your thoughts and uh, what is missing here. I would love to hear your opinion if you're into smartwatches, physical trackers, and all that stuff. I'm Dmitry. Thanks so much for watching. Check out this other relevant content, and we'll see you in the next video. Stay healthy, my friends. Stay healthy.